Welcome to Coffee Time Thursday. We dedicate Thursday to sharing on topics from new thought and authors from the past. Let's get started. Welcome everyone. Hi, this is Rev Deb from Ajijic, Mexico. Glad to join you today. Please join me in an opening prayer. Oh, as we breathe in, we breathe in sources, love, light, energy. And as we breathe out, we breathe it out to the whole world. High consciousness, clarity, ease, grace, and flow. Oh, and I thank God for this time together in high consciousness to discuss topics that are important to our hearts, to our personal growth, to our connection with each other, and to support each other in our personal growth. And I say thank you, Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love in action. And here we go. Amen. Amen. So the topic today is Dare to Believe. It's the book, Dare to Believe, by May Rowland. The chapter, How to Stay Young. There you go. In this chapter, a scientist, Dr. Donald Hatch Andrews, speaks to a rotary group, and he says, our new knowledge brings us new hope for the same experiments that are giving us atomic power are also giving us atomic vision. We can look inside the atom and see something beyond the material. We can see through to a new horizon of spirit. Well, that word atomic vision, that caught my eye. <laughs> joke, not, not a joke, but I want, I want to see with atomic vision. I want to see clearly. And so he goes on to say that if we took just a chip off of our baby finger, that bone, and we put it under a microscope and we magnetized it 10 million times, we would see that in the center of that chip of bone is light, only light. And to me, that means the light of God is in every cell, every chip of bone, every muscle. And we've been living a half awake life. We've been seeing with not clear vision for sure. And I want atomic vision. I want to see that I'm creating my own illnesses by fear, doubt, worry, or working too hard with my right hand typing or on the phone, but I'm doing it with the limiting belief because the truth is that we have God in every part of us and God is all health, all well-being, all youth, all vitality. And it's for us to remember that. So I've been practicing visioning. And so I vision my whole body as light. I'm like looking at myself and the body is only light. And you know, the first few times I couldn't see light in my feet or in my legs. And I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I do have some foot problems on that right foot. What's going on here? Why am I blocking this truth? So I've really been practicing on several areas, adrenals, my hair. I'm just seeing my whole body as perfect light. Because in truth, we are only light. And we're eternal. It says in the Bible that we could live forever. We have unlimited light and God's life in our bodies. But then we fall into that, oh, I'm old and oh, I've got a, my hips hurt, whatever. We fall into the story about the physical levels of manifestation and we believe them. And we get advertisements that you should take these drugs and this will make you better. But in fact, we're, we're already better. We've trained our mind to tell our body, oh, you have a hip problem. Instead of saying, 
you're full of light, you're eternal, you're blessed, you, you are renewed every day when you wake up. If we would remember, we renew every morning, we wake up renewed and to really believe it. And that takes retraining our brain. We are immortal. We were made in God's image. Yes, our body will at some time, our, our body, our life in our body will end at some time. But it's not because God, God wants us and is calling us. God wants us to have eternal life. He wants us to live hundreds of years because he experiences through us. It's just, we have this belief, oh, we got to grow old and be sick and then leave our body and oh, it could be painful. That's not what God wants for us. He wants eternal joy and life in this body. So it's our opportunity to learn how to reprogram our brain, visualize light. And it's so fun. Light is lovely. It's joyous. It's beautiful. And we can then send that light to everyone we see and know the truth for them. Even if they tell us the stories about their ill health, we can know and see the light for them. And that's a joyous way to live. And I want to live that way. Happy, healthy, happy, healthy, happy, healthy, gone. So I throw that idea out there to you. Uh, do you have comments on unlimited life? Do you believe it? Do you practice any practices for perfect health who would like to share i'll share i'm um also believe as you do and i remember the song every little cell in my body is happy every little cell in my body is well i'm so happy i'm so joyful and i use that to keep myself well and whenever i do i i sometimes um, have an ache in an ankle or something, then I bless it and see it being healed. And I use it also when I remember to um, be joyful when people, there's there's a Facebook group called Prayer and Meditation, I think it's what the name of it anyway, and people go on about what their maladies are and I just send them either healing energy or light. And, and they don't want us to use specific prayers, you know, because it's supposed to be uh, non-denominational, I guess. But um, we don't need to know what's wrong. We just need to see it light-filled and well. And so I love this topic, and I'm glad you picked it. I'll go. I also want you to remember, just in case you did not know, that she was a director of Silent Unity for many years. I love the fact that you said that he said that there's if you magnetize it 10 million times, there's light in there. I have been working because, of course, my uh, I inherit, you know, I, of course, my heredity. Oh, well, there's diabetes in your family. And there's this in your family, there's cancer in your family, there's this, you know, and then it's like, I'm just like, nope, I go with the every little cell in my body is happy. You know, and when you get to a certain age, the doctor say, well, I need you to test for X, Y, and Z and see if, you know, and I'm just like, look, you're throwing a bunch of money at stuff that there's nothing there. And each test has come back with nothing there. And I keep telling them that, but they're not, you know, the doctors, they're like, oh no, we're going to find something because, you know, all this runs in your family. I'm like, but that's not it. That's not my whole family. I have God as my family too. So, and I've been working with this. The only thing that I have noticed is that I have arthritis in some of my knuckles. So lately, like the past month, for some reason, this has been going through my mind. Well, I don't have to accept that that's there. Why can't I send it energy and have it be gone? Why can't I say it doesn't, there isn't pain from that because that they cannot exist in my body. Instead of saying, well, yeah, my grandmother's hands were deformed by the time she was my age and she could barely pick up a pan. No, that's not, I don't have to accept that as my mortality. Like you said, I am a child of God and I am made of light. So I look forward to having a meditation where I could actually or a meditation practice where I can remember and envision myself as being that light. Like you said, I'm going to have to start that practice because 
I can see that being I, something I could do with the kids, something I could just bring to my whole family because, and I always tell mom, I'm going to live till over I'm a hundred. And you know what, as you were talking, I'm thinking to myself, what if I tell all of them, I'm just going to live forever. What would that look like? You know what I mean? It may, this body may not, but that's not the point. You know what I mean? I am, Becky is, the energy of who Becky is will live forever. So bring that light on, bring it into myself. I'm going to start working with that. And I appreciate this topic. And I, I really do need to spend some time reading the whole book because it is amazing to me that the jewels in this, in this, in the, in the teachings, even 60 years ago. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay. I'll comment. <clears throat> and as you all are talking and thinking about all of the, the stories that I could share and all of the incredible healings that I've seen <clears throat> my mother years and years ago, even decades ago, was told she had weeks to live because she had liver cancer. And <clears throat> she was at an oncologist and he was going over the results with her. <clears throat> and she told him, well, you're an idiot. I don't have liver cancer. I have got way too many problems. I am not going to have liver cancer. I don't know what you're looking at, but you're reading it wrong. There is another solution. That's all there is to it. And she lived for decades after that without liver cancer. <clears throat> I, I told everyone she was truly the queen of denial and that's another topic. But you asked, is there a practice that you use? And there is one that I use that's different enough. I would like to offer it. I like to go out into the grass, especially early in the morning when the dew is on the, on the grass, barefoot, and dig my toes into the ground and as the sun comes up, I'm an early morning person, I'm one of those, I like to let the sun come to me and through me and carry everything that doesn't serve me into the ground, like fertilizer, right? So that's my vision. I let the light kind of purify me and let everything that doesn't serve me go to ground where it will be reborn as new life in a new form. Isn't that pretty? And, and I've been, I call it going to ground. Also works if I slip a disc and get a little angry. <laughs> I can let that same process just move through me and go to ground. And then I can think more clearly and move forward. So that's my practice. Oh, let's, let's take that into meditation, shall we? So take a breath. And, and you don't have to be in the sun, but visualize that. Let yourself remember what it feels like to wiggle your toes in the dirt and the grass caressing you and the water and the cool. And you know you are connected to the earth. And then imagine the sunlight just bursting over the mountain into the sky and finding you and touching you and lighting you and moving to you and through you and gently lovingly shining light and erasing all of the darkness and everything that doesn't serve you, it falls away. Breathe that in and let go of everything that doesn't serve you. Let it go to ground, knowing that the earth will take it and reshape it and use it to create new life. It's safe to let go. 
feel that light moving through you. Visualize all the darkness being illumined and everything falling away. And when you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes and be here with us, enjoying this beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked this video, let us know. Hit the thumbs up on the YouTube channel. It helps us if we get more likes. And if you haven't already subscribed, you could be missing stuff. So light up that subscribe button and know that you won't have to miss a single video. Please share us with your friends. Get in touch with us. We really care about you. We come together to share these topics as a way to connect with you, as a way to let you know you are a part of our hearts, our prayers, and our being. Please share us. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week. If you want to be a part of the conversation, comment below, like, and share with your Coffee Time friends.